an illegal substance, probably a little marijuana. Who knows? But that's what they do. They create these, they've got to find something, and they will stay there and comb through everything until they find a parking ticket you didn't pay or something to justify their use of force. And that's what happens. They just, you know, they, they want to take you down. If they make a mistake, they're not going to apologize for it. And we just consent to this kind of brutality and this tyranny. And if you don't stand up and say anything about it, then you are giving your consent. I believe that family is going to go ahead and sue the police department since they got it all on video and the police did not knock. But again, what are we saying? Just look away. All this stuff is going on. Economic crash is coming, but just look away. Don't worry about it. Just buy into the illusion that everything is going to be fine. You don't need to go to the InfoWars store and get any survival seeds at the very least so that you can feed your family during this economic crisis. You don't need any survival gear. You know, meanwhile, FEMA is buying up, calling all the Patriot supply and how can we get food and, and, and buying up bullets and iodine and everything they can get their hands on for some sort of imminent crisis that they're planning for. But you, you and I, we just need to go ahead and just buy into this illusion that everything is going to be all right and hope that they don't seize your property. You know, because police can come in and raid your home and say, oh, well, we found a little bit of marijuana and we think you're selling it. So we're gonna go ahead and confiscate your home because it's involved in illegal activity which they have done to people before. But now here we have homeowners in Connecticut who had 90 acres of their land seized by the government, not because the government wanted to use it for public use, but for economic development. Now this case caused particular outrage because the Constitution's Fifth Amendment bars governments from taking private property unless the taking is for public use. Now, historically, public use means a road, a bridge, a public school, or some other government structure that's going to serve the public. But in the Kelo decision, the high court majority declared that economic development that would involve using eminent domain to transfer the property of one private owner to a different but more economically ambitious private owner, such as a hotel, qualified as public use. <sighs> that is crazy. I mean, and that was upheld by the Supreme Court that they said, this is fine. And the big flip in that story is that this economic development never happened. The big corporations never moved in like they promised, even though they gave them huge tax breaks to bring these companies in and do all this economic development and help this town out. None of it ever happened. They just took the people's land, 90 acres of land from several homeowners, and nothing's there. Uh, nothing is there. And the people are just, they're screwed. And that's what's happening here. And we have to allow this to happen. We can't fight back because then we'll be racist. We'll be racist against the state, we'll be racist against globalists, we'll be racist against bankster scum. And I don't know about you, but I don't want anyone to think that I'm a racist against the state and against these guys. You know, that's why the banks give us these fake money loans at extremely high interest rates because they know we can't pay them back. And then they're going to just confiscate our property and just gobble it all back up for themselves because they love you. They love us. They love us. So while the courts are going to rule that these corporations can come in and take your land so they can build a new strip mall here. Now the governments are saying that they're going to go to the moon again so they can exploit any economic wealth that could be found there. <sighs> Isn't this wonderful? Of course, now other countries have shown interest in exploiting the commercial opportunities on the moon. So the U.S. has once again said, we're going to go ahead and launch a robot on the moon for the first time in four decades. There are already plans to explore the lunar south pole where it is hoped there could be abundant natural resources that would make a base self-sustaining. So NASA said that it's gonna offer its expertise to any private companies that wanna develop lunar explorations, but it's not gonna be putting up any cash for the missions. So can you believe this? I mean, can you imagine? Look at what the globalist scum 
has done to this world, to this country, to all the countries in the world. They've exploited everyone for their wealth. They've destroyed everything they touch. 10,000 years of agriculture and farming can be destroyed in one generation because we've allowed companies like Monsanto and DuPont to patent seeds so they can completely monopolize the food supply, control the food supply. So 10,000 years of human evolution, of figuring out how to farm and agriculture to feed ourselves and figuring out how all this works can be destroyed in one generation, wiping out everything. And now these guys want to go and explore the moon and just screw things up in, in space because they, you know, they're done with this place here. We can't allow this to happen. I mean, if we sit around and don't say anything about it, then we are basically consenting to their destruction and their tyranny. And that's what they're counting on, is that we're going to sit around and be millions of people in a football stadium chanting for idiot morons who are playing a rigged game anyway. This whole game is rigged, and the only way that we are going to win is if we wake up. But just by nature of you watching this very broadcast and supporting this transmission, you are the resistance. By you waking up, by you waking up your friends and family to this rigged system, to this rigged game, we can win. We can stop these guys. We can teach people that we don't have to consent to this tyranny. Now, as the globalists are convincing everyone to go green while they are simultaneously destroying the planet, they're gonna be giving you energy hikes. They're convincing you that you need to go green and save the planet so that they can tax you, so that you can pay money to Al Gore. I'm gonna have a report on that coming up because it is infuriating. And I'm sure a lot of people out there who are buying economical and practical cars aren't gonna be very happy with the new tax coming their way. And then we'll have an extended interview. David Knight is gonna interview Jerry Peterman. David Knight is gonna be talking to Jerry Peterman. He'll have a Fukushima update, as well as answer some questions that you might have surrounding the dangers of radiation. So we'll be right back. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.
In the middle of one of the coldest winters in a century, Congress is trying to sneak through a provision in the farm bill that'll tack a fee on home heating oil. The fee will last for nearly 20 years and then supposedly will siphon the money to the National Oil Heat Research Alliance to develop equipment that is cheaper, more efficient and safer and to encourage consumers to update their equipment. The bill prohibits oil companies from passing the fee on to consumers, but taxpayer advocates say that's a sham. Congress established NORA in 2000 to improve energy efficiency and lower heating bills at no cost to the U.S. taxpayer. But Representative Henry A. Waxman of California said in the past, NORA has used the funds it's collected to primarily run public relations campaigns. Campaigns such as convincing the public that going green is vital to saving the planet. Now tell that to folks in Washington state. They're being taxed for going green. Lawmakers there are edging closer to implementing the motor fuel tax, a new system that will monitor and tax drivers based on miles driven. Drivers could be charged three ways, either with a flat fee, by having odometers checked, or with an electronic device installed in cars to measure how many miles are driven. In a dizzying twist of logic, the commission and DOT blame the prevalence of fuel-efficient cars as the reason the state now needs a per-mile tax, arguing that the move to cleaner, smarter vehicles must be accompanied by a change in the way we pay for our roads. The incentive for states to pursue this kind of program could build as cars become more fuel efficient, and especially considering President Obama wants new vehicles to get 54 and a half miles per gallon by 2025. So as these new technologies are created to burn less gasoline and save the environment, the states are now concerned about the loss in revenue. The black boxes installed in cars are one major privacy concern because you're being constantly tracked. But there are also other ways this push for efficiency is leaving us incredibly vulnerable to hackers, advertisers, and the NSA, as well as soaring fee hikes. Smart meters are being touted as the innovative and advanced technology that will help conserve energy and, in exchange, lower energy bills. Right, because energy companies really want to help you cut into their profits so they can save Mother Earth. A recent poll revealed that about one-third of people who had smart meters installed had experienced bill increases, and one quarter of those had had bills doubled, tripled, or more. They're complete lies. Uh, it's not, the grid is not saving energy, it's using more energy, in fact. No pilot programs have been done where smart grids are saving any energy. Also, it's creating a huge hacking vulnerability. Even the former CIA director of the, of, of the United States, James Woolsey, said, you know, what we think of, what we're being told is a smart grid, is actually a really, really stupid grid. And, and in addition to that, it's, it's not giving us more control. It's actually giving the control to big corporations, to, to utilities, and to governments who will be sharing in this data that is basically being extracted uh, from the home in a very, very high level of detail. Just as the global warming conspiracy theory is being pummeled with historically low temperatures, so too is the energy efficiency farce, which is proving to be just another means of taxation and control. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. 
Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your